In this lecture, we shall discuss the explanation and numericals of Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, Hardy-Weinberg principle, or Hardy-Weinberg law. Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium states that the population will not change, or there will be no evolution, or the allele's frequencies will not change if certain factors are met. Population is the group of organisms of same species that live in same area at same time. Evolution is the change with the passage of time or according to population genetics change in allele frequencies with the passage of time is evolution. So HWE states that the population will not change or there will be no evolution or the allele frequencies will not change if certain factors are met. For example consider a diploid organism a diploid organism has two sets of chromosomes for example uh, consider it as chromosome number uh, 1 these are homologous chromosome a diploid organism has one copy from mother and one copy from father homologous chromosomes are similar on the basis of loci of gene staining pattern or position of centromere a diploid organism on minimum has two alleles for example here in red color it is the loci of gene of white uh, and these two alleles are same uh, represented with small h so on the basis of alleles the organism or individual can be homozygote if both alleles are same and the condition is called as homozygous condition so if both alleles are uh, small h uh, small h then uh, the organism is homozygote likewise if both alleles are represented with capital h then the organism is um, homozygote a diploid organism uh, may have uh, different uh, alleles on both chromosomes so if both alleles are different here for example represented with capital H and small h uh, then the organism is uh, heterozygote and the condition is heterozygous this actually depicts the genotype of organism on the basis of genotype the organism can be homozygote or heterozygote whereas phenotype depends on the relation between alleles for either it may be dominance co-dominance incomplete dominance etc consider an example of a diploid population of 500 organism as we have discussed that a diploid organism on minimum has uh, two copies uh, of a allele so um, uh, a population of 500 organisms uh, should have uh, 1000 alleles so these 1000 alleles constitute a gene pool gene pool is the total number of alleles in a population uh, so for example in a population uh, there are two alleles capital A and small a uh, for example uh, the um, uh, small a has percentage of 70 percent whereas uh, sorry capital A uh, may have percentage of 70 percent and small a has percentage of 30 percent or uh, we can say that that uh, the frequency of capital A allele is 0 0.7 and uh, that of small a is 0 0.3 so if generation after generation this frequency remains same then the population is in HWE so HWE states that the population will not change there will be no evolution or the allele frequencies will not change if certain factors are met these factors include no migration it means that uh, in population there um, will be no immigration or emigration no selection means that uh, mating is always random no genetic drift uh, means that no selection of alleles by chance occur in population no mutation uh, as you know that mutation is the main cause of change so if the population is in HWE there should be no mutation and the last point is large population size so uh, this is an ideal state of population such populations do not exist in nature that's why uh, natural populations evolve to test hwe uh, there um, uh, are two states of population uh, either the population is in hwe or the population deviates from hwe so uh, mathematical explanation of uh, hwe includes uh, two equation this one equation is p plus q is equal to 1 here p is the frequency of dominant allele whereas q is the frequency of recessive allele so p plus q is equal to uh, 1 and uh, the next uh, equation is uh, p square plus 2 p q plus q square is equal to 1 here p square is the frequency of homozygous uh, dominant uh, genotype that is frequency of genotype p p q square is the frequency of homozygous uh, recessive or uh, the frequency of genotype QQ whereas 2PQ is the frequency of heterozygous uh, genotype so this equation actually uh, deals with the uh, frequency of uh, alleles and this equation uh, deals with the uh, frequency of genotypes 
numericals um, from numerical we shall uh, learn about how to calculate alleles and genotype frequencies and how to check population if it is an hwe or it deviates from hwe question number one 16 percent of cats population has blue eyes blue eye color is recessive while black eye color is dominant find a percentage of cats who has black eyes b frequencies of dominant and recessive alleles c percentage of population heterozygous for eye color trait the information given in question is percentage of recessive population that is percentage of q scale which is 16 percent and we have to calculate the percentage of cats who has black eyes as black eye color is the dominant trait so apart from the recessive homozygotes the population should have the dominant trait so by subtracting the percentage of recessive homozygotes from total percentage we can get the percentage of individuals uh, with dominant trait so 100 minus 16 is equal to 84 so 84 percent cats have black eyes from this data of 16 percent cats population we can also calculate the frequency of recessive genotype that is q scare 16 over 100 is equal to 0.16 so frequency of a homozygous recessive genotype is 0.16 we can also uh, solve this part of the uh, question by using the formula for genotype frequencies as homozygous dominant individuals and heterozygotes both have uh, the black eyes because black eye color is a, a dominant trait so by using the equation for genotype frequencies we can solve it uh, p square plus 2 p q plus q square is equal to 1 here place the um, uh, frequency of q square which is 0.16 so p square plus 2 p q plus 0.16 is equal to 1 p square plus 2 p q is equal to 1 minus 0.16 and the answer is 0.84 or 84 percent cats have black eyes next we have to calculate the frequencies of dominant and recessive alleles that is we have to find out the value of p and q as we get the frequency of q square which is 0.16 so by taking square root of q square we can get the value of q square root of 0.16 is 0.4 so q is equal to 0.4 as we know that p plus q is equal to 1 so p is equal to 1 minus q so 1 minus uh, 0.4 is equal to 0.6 so p is equal to 0.6 next we have to calculate the percentage of population heterozygous for eye color trait that is we have to calculate the percentage of 2 pq for this uh, we know that p is equal to 0.6 and q is equal to 0.4 so uh, multiply 2 into 0.6 into 0.4 uh, for the multiplication of uh, decimal values we can uh, solve it in an easy way remove this decimal and place uh, 1 over 6 and for uh, this single digit place a single 0 to so it will become 6 over 10 into likewise 0 0.4 for 0 0.4 remove this uh, decimal and place 1 over 4 and for this single digit place single 0 so it will become 4 over 10 as 6 4 um, so 24 so it will become 24 over 100 for these two uh, zeros place decimal uh, before two digits so it will become 0.24 and then multiply 0.24 with 2 answer is 0.48 we can also uh, recheck it uh, by placing uh, the uh, values in the equation for uh, genotype frequencies if the answer is equal to 1 then our calculations um, are correct so percentage of population heterozygous for eye color trait is 48 percent so number two for example atium mutation are recessive genes give human protection from malaria Allele frequency of this is 20% in population. A. What percentage of population have two copies of genes so they are immune to malaria? B. What percentage of population are less susceptible to malaria while they are heterozygotes? Information given in question is the allele frequency of recessive allele that is percentage of uh, Q is given in the uh, question. We have to calculate the percentage of population who have two copies uh, of this gene so we have to find out the percentage of q scare next we have to find out the percentage of population less susceptible to malaria while they are heterozygotes here we have to find out the percentage of 2 pq from this uh, percentage of q we can uh, calculate the frequency of q for this uh, divide 20 with 100 answer is equal to 0.2 so frequency of uh, q is equal to 0.2 as we know that uh, p plus q is equal to 1 so from here we can find out the frequency of p um, uh, p is equal to 0.8 
for the calculation of this uh, q square multiply 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 uh, for the multiplication of uh, decimal values remove decimal and place 1 over 2 and for this single uh, digit place single 0 it will become 2 over 10 into 2 over 10 which is equal to uh, 4 over 100 for these uh, two zeros place decimal uh, before two digits and the answer is equal to 0 0.04 so frequency of q square is 0 0.04 so percentage of population uh, who have two copies of gene is uh, 4 percent next we have to calculate the uh, value uh, or um, of 2 pq for this we have to multi uh, we have to calculate the percentage of 2 pq for this multiply 2 into 0.8 into uh, 0.2 uh, and answer is equal to uh, 0.16 and um, uh, multiply 0.16 with 2 answer is 0.32 so 32 percent of the population are less susceptible to malaria because they are heterozygotes Question number 3. Population of cats can be either black or white. The black allele has complete dominance over the white allele. Given the population of 1000 cats at 40 black and 160 white cats determine the allele frequencies, frequency of individuals per genotype and number of individuals per genotype. So first we have to find out alleles frequencies that is uh, P and Q. Next we have to calculate frequency of individuals per genotype that is we have to find out p square q square and 2 pq and in last part we have to calculate number of individuals per genotype the information given in question is the number of white cats that is uh, 160 uh, which is the number of cats with recessive genotype q square by dividing uh, 160 with uh, 1000 we can get the uh, frequency of um, recessive genotype that is q square so q square is equal to 0.16 uh, here we get the value of q square from uh, by taking the square root of this q square we can get the value of q so square root of 0.16 is 0 0.4 as we know that p plus q is equal to 1 so um, 1 minus 0 0.4 is equal to p uh, so p is equal to uh, 0.6 so um, here uh, in next part we have to calculate the frequency of individuals per genotype that is p square q square and 2 pq uh, um, as we have already calculated q square is equal to 0.16 for um, uh, for p square multiply 0 0.6 uh, into 0 0.6 and the answer is equal to uh, 0.36 so p square is equal to 0.36 for 2 p uh, q uh, multiply uh, 2 into uh, point, uh, 6 into 0.4 and the answer is equal to 0.48 in last part we have to calculate number of individuals per genotype so uh, as we have already calculated the frequency of homozygous uh, dominant genotype which is 0.36 and frequency of uh, homozygous recessive genotype which is 0.16 and frequency of um, heterozygous genotype that is 0.48 by multiplying this frequency with the total number of individuals we can get the uh, number of individuals um, per genotype or of that genotype um, like here multiply 0.36 with 1000 answer is 360 uh, and 0.16 into 1000 is equal to 160 and 0.48 into 1000 is equal to 480 so here is the number of uh, individuals um, uh, per genotype question number four consider question number three as first generation of cats the next generation of cats has a total population of 800 cats 672 black and 128 white is this population in hwe the information present in the question is total population of cats which is 800 and uh, 128 cats are of the recessive genotype so we have to find out is this population in hwe uh, here number of individuals uh, with the uh, homozygous recessive genotype is 128 by dividing 128 with total number of individuals that is 800 we can get the frequency of q square which is 0.16 so from this uh, q square uh, by taking the square root of this uh, q square we can get the value of q which is equal to uh, 0.4 and as we know that p plus q is equal to 1 so 1 minus 0.4 is equal to p uh, here p is equal to 0.6 uh, in the question number 3 allele frequencies uh, were also p is equal to 0.6 and q is equal to 0.4 so our answer is uh, yes this population is in hwe last question question number 5 
Black beak color of finches is dominant over yellow beak color. There are 245 individuals with the genotype capital D capital D, 210 with capital D small d and 45 individuals with small d small d genotype. Find A. Frequency of dominant and recessive alleles. B. Frequencies of individuals with dominant trait, recessive trait and heterozygotes. The next generation of finches has a population of 400. There are 336 with black beaks and 64 with yellow beaks. Is it in HWE? The information given in question is the number of individuals uh, of uh, uh, with a homozygous dominant genotype that is 245, number of individuals with a homozygous recessive genotype that is 45 and number of individuals uh, with the heterozygous genotype that is 210. If we divide this uh, 245 with total number of individuals in a population, answer is equal to 0.49. So um, the um, frequencies of individuals with the um, homozygous I guess uh, dominant uh, trait is uh, 0.49 and uh, if we divide 210 over 500 answer is equal to 0.42 so this is the frequency of uh, individuals with the uh, hem this is the frequency of the heterozygous individuals or the heterozygotes and if we divide 45 over 500 answer is equal to 0 0.09 this is the frequency of individuals with the uh, homozygous recessive genotype or the frequency frequency of individuals with the recessive trait. So if we uh, take the square root of this 0 0.09 we can get the value of uh, recessive allele uh, which is D. Uh, so the square root of um, 0 0.09 is equal to uh, 0.3 as we know that uh, p plus q is equal to 1 so 1 minus 0.3 is equal to p so frequency of uh, dominant allele d is equal to uh, um, 0.7 next part is we have to calculate the uh, uh, to find out uh, as if next generation is in HWE or not. For this purpose, uh, we have the information in question that 64 um, finches out of uh, 400 have the homozygous uh, recessive um, trait that is uh, yellow beak. So divide uh, 64 with uh, total number of individuals that is 400. The frequency of homozygous uh, recessive genotype uh, is 0.16. By taking the square root of this uh, 0.16 we can get the frequency of uh, recessive allele that is 0.4. As we know that p plus q is equal to 1. Uh, so <clears throat> if q is equal to 0.4 then uh, p is equal to uh, 1 minus 0.4 that is 0.6. Uh, in the in, uh, generation number uh, 1 we uh, calculated that capital uh, D has a frequency which is a 0.7 and that of small d is 0.3 uh, but now uh, in this uh, generation uh, we have the frequency of uh, capital D 0.6 and that of small d 0.4 so these um, allele frequencies are uh, different from the uh, first generation so that this uh, population deviates from HWE.